What's up everybody, it's your boy Duty back again with another video. Today I am doing a commentary on our boy Richard and his recent Rainbow Six stream. Uh, it was a com combination stream. It was Rainbow and uh, him talking about cars and him talking about his recent purchase of a Chevy Blazer uh, for Kelly. Uh, so uh, I took a couple clips from it. I wanted to, comment to provide a little bit of commentary on our boy Richard here and uh just chat about how um in light of recent events uh, mainly today and him being sent the band world how some of this may impact him so let's get into it pms dude i am so tired we've been we, we we've been car shopping for the last week and we're finally done with it i feel like the only loser in this whole game is your boy jordy Alright, why does he call himself a loser? So apparently what happened here is that they haven't gotten the insurance check yet from Kelly's auto accident. And, you know, that happens from time to time. And our boy, Rich Reader, has been talking about getting Kelly a car for a while. Kelly's been getting a car for herself. But apparently Kelly doesn't have the uh, funds to put down on the down payment. So essentially, uh, Richard is being asked to put up some money to pay for the down payment of Kelly's car. And I guess it is uh, hurting him or bothering him or upsetting him for some for some instance where he has to help his wife out. Uh, this is one of the most dysfunctional relationships I've ever seen in my life. I mean, if my significant other needed a vehicle and didn't have the cash to pay for it, you know, I would I would help them out as much as I could. I'd provide them a down payment. I wouldn't expect them to pay it back. I would even buy them the car myself but you know um the way richard and kelly's relationship is is it seems more of a transactional relationship where you know it's 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 a relationship out of um necessity and assistance uh where you know they can't live alone by themselves um they can't afford it or for whatever reason for example our boy wings since he is self-employed and refuses to get a job, he can't get health insurance. So Kelly provides that health insurance through her job, which is a little weird because she quit her job, but for some reason now she's working from home. I'm not sure what, what, what that's about. And that's another thing. If you're working from home, why do you need two vehicles? Well, essentially three, because they do have another vehicle that's in, waiting to be repaired, his truck and, and, and Kelly's vehicle. Not sure why they need three, especially if both of them work from home. One one car should suffice. But anyway, I'm guessing Kelly wants her own car. So we're gonna hear our boy Wings here talking about their purchase. Apparently they bought a 2022 uh, Chevy Blazer, which is a terrible car. That's a rust machine, and they have transmission issues, and you know they just fall apart. Uh, and I'm guessing based on the year and model and kind of whatever. Kelly's gonna be. They paid a pretty penny for it. I think they're they're up there for about thirty three to thirty six thousand k. You know, mind you, this man's been complaining for months or almost a year about not having money to buy anything to save because of his Twitch and because he can't DoorDash and you know every day he's begging for money and begging for donations. You know, and he needs to hit that hundred thirty dollar uh, donation mark so that he can function. Uh, I'm guessing now with you know this new car and the new insurance and everything that goes with it uh i guess that 130 is gonna have to go up to maybe 180 so let's keep going uh. we got a uh we got a chevy blazer quit being a bitch I didn't buy her anything. She bought her own car. Like, I had to put up, like, the um, the down payment money, but I'll get the money back once the insurance check comes in. And you know, you know, as soon as that check comes in, he's going to force Kelly to go to the bank, cash it, and deposit it into his account. And that's sad. That That's pretty shitty wings. I mean, you know... I understand people in relationships, they split things up and they have responsibilities, but I mean, come on now, this is your wife, she needs a vehicle, 
and you're harping about the fact that you had to put a down payment down for, um, or even mention it, you shouldn't even have mentioned it. Well, what was the point? You know, to make it seem like, oh, look at me, I'm such a nice guy that I'm working on cash to help someone pay for their car. What the, what, what? I, I don't know. All right, let's keep going. But, you know, she bought her own car. I don't, she pays for her own car. Nah, the Camaro was just troll baiting, honestly. We had a new member too. Let's see, who's it new? It wasn't troll baiting, Pimp. You wanted her to get a Camaro so that you can basically try to um, make it seem like you have a Camaro because you, you, you know, you want, you know, hundreds of cars and, you know, you, you, you have a, you feel like that's a status symbol for you for having a truck, having a vehicle, having a sports car that makes you more manly. And that's, that's pretty sad. So don't act like, oh, this was something you were doing for the trolls or whatever. No, you want her to get a Camaro. You know, you did. So stop lying. You probably would have got her. If you could have, you probably would have convinced her to get, get a Ford Raptor. Remember, remember Chambers. Hey, Chambers, welcome to the Hoodlands. Can you give me a few minutes with chat? Yeah, you want me to pull a chair up and sit with us? No, oh, hold your chair. I don't want to get up, baby. I'm tired. I gotta ask them what they want me to do. Wait. Hey, y'all. Can you please tell them I don't pay for your car? Oh, he absolutely does not pay for my car. I wish he did, but he don't. I don't. Look at the look of disgust on her face. She has a look of like, God, you're a pitiful person, Richard. I mean, you know, men are supposed to do manly, th manly things when they're married, you know. And one of the things is helping out your spouse. But no, you know, Wings figured, nope, you make your own money, you pay for your own shit. And that's, that's pretty pathetic. She gets what she wants. With my own money. Mm-hmm. Which is what we need to talk about. So, most of you heard. I have a blazer now. That's that's my car. And if you notice, what up, Nick? Donated. Oh. Nick, any hunt tonight, homie? No, we're gonna do rainbow tonight, Nick. Hopefully. Which means Kelly's gonna leave very soon. If you notice, guys, with uh, with the blazer, I kind of have a pattern here. For the most part, I get SUVs. Like that's just who I am. If we were divorcing, you people make no sense. If we're divorcing, why would he buy me a car? He's not buying you a car. You just stated right now that you're paying for it. He's giving you the down payment, but you're giving him back the money as soon as the insurance company comes in. It's, it's not that difficult, Kelly. Or why would I buy him a car? You're not buying him a car. What the fuck are you talking about? Um, well, he doesn't. I do. So I have a blazer now. And... <laughs> it's kind of in between trim level. You know? So okay, so this is... Uh, let me break down her code. So whenever anyone says it's between trim level, what they're saying is that it's the lowest trim. So she probably got an LE or whatever the hell Chevy blazers are called. With some upgrades, so essentially instead of just having instead of having hubcaps, they may have the alloy alloy rims that the say XLE or an SE may have. That's all she's talking about. But it's still an it's still a, a an LE. It's still the cheapest style laser. Well, I could go either way. I could make it super sporty and super just out there and have wild colors on the tires and the lighted bow tie and she wants to put like put lights under the car and in the car and she wants to put all kinds of mood lighting and underglow and, and stuff on her car and put like a blingy little um engine button cover and put a green bow tie on my steering wheel like really just trick it out right Okay, so Kelly's watched 
uh, boys in the hood once too many one, one too many times. As soon as she, she wants to trick it out, get some lights or whatever. My question is, why is she asking Chat? Who they're not? Well, yeah. Well, they're not paying for it because they don't pay Kelly. So why even bother? Why even bring it up? I guess maybe to get their opinion. But like she said, it's her car. She's paying for it, so she can do whatever the hell she wants. I mean, I I think it's stupid to put lights and chintzy chintzy shit on your car but if that's something you want to do and pay for then so be it why does the chat need to know where i need to weigh in and why does wings need to weigh in she does what she she'll do what the hell she wants to do. she's paying for it why even bother or i can make it very elegant and just um i'm banning anybody trying to give me advice regardless it's getting tinted and it's getting black bow ties. Regardless. Everybody, everybody in the chat is going to be take my side on this. So I want to know what, which way should I go? Should I keep it sophisticated and elegant or should I just? Yeah, hey, uh, whatever. I hope your family dies in an automobile wreck. One thing I definitely want so much is they have these floating hubcap tops that you put on your car. She want to put on spinners on her car. She wants spinners. <laughs> okay. And they they light up at night. Thank you, Ben. All right. That personally, that sounds tacky as fuck. I mean, I wouldn't do it. I mean, and it sounds, you know, even ridiculous. Her, her, her being a bigger woman riding in a clown car like that but again if that's something she wants to do and pay for then okay so be it do it she got so mad at me this morning because when i woke up and she was she wanted to show me like cup holders that light up and what like ben say? he said cheap mods i'm, hurt I'm banning anybody car. trying to give me advice mm -hmm. and she wanted to get like these <clears throat> like center caps on the on the rims that actually like like kick on at six, 17 miles an hour and like show lights and then it changes and stuff. And in my head, I'm like, girl, like, you're 38. Like you can sneak this in all fucking stream. Like why, why? Like, is this I, your like, midlife crisis car to or you. something? All right, I know this fat land way I wasn't talking about midlife crisis. The man that, that, that is broke is begging for donations and spends half his day looking at Ford Raptor trucks or trail bosses. Uh, a man that bought a V6 salvage Mustang, then traded it in for a V4 Mustang. He has the nerve to talk about midlife crisis. This boy's been having a midlife crisis since he was 30. And, and, I, and, and she got so mad at me because I'm like, first off, you're buying cheap Chinese junk that won't last a week, right? She got mad at you because she was trying to have a conversation with you and she probably really just wanted to have a conversation with you. But your dumbass is too stupid to realize that, that, you know, that's all she was doing. She really didn't want your input. She just wanted you to nod and say, oh, okay, whatever, yeah, that sounds nice or whatever, or maybe engage her in conversation. That's what Kelly was looking for. She was looking just for conversation. She was looking for you to fix her problem or really resolve the issue she knows what she wants to do it sounds like she was trying to engage you wings in a human conversation and you tried to fix whatever problem she was having or tell her she was dumb or you know telling her that she's being ridiculous and that's why she got annoyed with you and i would tell and like you're spending like the you know you're spending all this money like I, i'm a firm believer of buy it right or buy it twice right I think the car is elegant, sophisticated the way it is. Tint the windows, maybe get some floor liners, you know, do stuff like that. And I think he just doesn't want to have any fun. So why even bring it up to him, Kelly? If you know that's how he is, he, he's just a 37 year old man that just wants to sit and eat and stream and do nothing. And doesn't want to have any fun, doesn't want to have anything, watch him call it. So why even bring it up? You should just do what you want to do. You're paying for it and let the uh, chips fall where they may. Now she's annoying me. She's annoying me because now she's complaining about something that she knows 
isn't going to get resolved. He's never going to change. He's the same way. He's boring as hell. And now she's complaining about it. Now, that gets me annoyed because then I look at her and say, you already know this. This isn't anything new. Why do you think anything's going to change? I'm sorry, but that is funny. Says dude who got the Mustang. Exactly. That was kind of cute. I didn't do any of that stuff to my Mustang. I, I tended, yeah, but you did get a Mustang. I tinted my windows. I put ceramic coating on it. Your midlife crisis just came a little earlier. And she can do what she wants for her car. But like, like seriously, like he's been sneak dissing all fucking stream. Like why? Why? Yeah. Um, like I never did anything to you. Yep, Kelly was sneak dissing and he deserved it. Six points. Off diamond. I wonder if she was texting 007. What? <clears throat> uh. I think everybody was going around issuing copyright strikes, honestly. It's the reason I delete almost every video I put up. Uh, that's a lie, Wings. You don't delete them, you private them. And that's the reason why you're dealing with those 36 or some odd strikes that you have today. Because you don't delete them, you private them. And by the way, just because you private a video doesn't mean you still can't get strike. If a person knows the U URL of the video, um, regardless of whether you private it or not, you can still get a strike for it. I'm just gonna. I'm, I'm saying I'm gonna try to win when I play, but if I if I lose, I'm not like gonna be like, oh, I lost the game. More than. Oh, that's fucking ridiculous! Every game he plays, he bitch and whines, and he blames his teammates anytime he loses. Nobody's buying that wings. In like ten seconds. I'm gonna time you next time. Okay. I love. Even Kelly knows it. Love you. I love you too, baby. All. Oh, I got one in prep. I'm here with you, dumb. I'm here. Alright, that's just a little medley, a little medley of, of his play. He was dog shit in this game. He was terrible. He was always at the rock bottom. He was always last. And he, it seemed like every match he was either the first or the second person to die on his team. So let's watch a little medley of it. Where was you done? Wow. There's one small guy. Give it up. Give it up. That guy's bad, dude. How did I die to that bug? <laughs> Oh, where? Camping. Uh, Thatcher is on, holding on the prep wall. Still one cigar Come on, dude. Again. Uh, he's deep, but he's not like where. Because we have an economy car is good on mileage. Me and Kelly both work from home, so like it's it's not that big a deal. Like. You guys both work from home, so what's the point of having two cars? I just don't understand that. Oh, you got a shotgun? There's nobody on the freezer wall right now. There's at least three people upstairs. Oh shit! Got drop, got drop, got drop and freezer, uh, freezer, drop and yeah, freezer. Yeah, yeah. So, so goblin, goblin, goblin. He just, he gets so panicky whenever someone starts shooting him up. He's one HP, one HP. You got two, you got at least three dropped in freezer. Planting, planting. Well, uh, freezer's freezer one HP, or uh, 20 HP, 20 HP. Here we go. Nice. You saw that he was in last place, even though his team won, he was still in last place. Carry diamond. Oh god, like on stove, on stove, near my ex, he's looking His reaction time is just terrible. Towards you. 
He's on the back. He's on the closest thing to you on your right. Yes, that thing right there. He's where he killed you last time, though. Shoot through the wall, anyways. Uh, shoot through the wall. He's where he killed you last time, though. All right, give me a second. Just want to show you guys something. There you go. You see it? Last place. He was either in fourth or fifth place in every single match. It was pretty pathetic. He's where he killed you last time, though. Shoot through the wall. Uh, shoot through the wall. Oh. He was there. Had to go reload. Laying down, he's laying down. Mm. Yeah. Look at that, boys. Carry Diamond, fifth place. He was just bad. I can't say shit. I'm one and four right now. You might have been able to grab those heals in the back, but they have a pulse on first. Yeah, they do have a pulse on first floor. Bomb has been located. If you want to go, I'll, I'll drone this guy out for you. Somebody on on him. I would love to Thunderbird. They got Thunderbird on red. Reception's clear. Coat check's clear. clear. Can I hop in small bait? Let me go check for you. Harry Potter's clear on the stairs. Small bait's clear. Bakery. Oh, come on, I got shot. Crossing, fuck. Come on, I got shot. Crossing, fuck. Oh, come on, I got shot. Crossing, fuck. Oh, come on, I got shot. Look at that finger sniff. fuck. Finger sniffing. Look at them finger sniffs. Oh, come on, I got shot. Crossing, <laughs> fuck. Not my game. Oh, on on pillar, Over pillar here. on the window, pillar on the window, 50 health. Last guy's pillar on window, 50 health. He has bombs, he has bombs. Does aces get burned? Yeah, it will, it will. I think they got a mozzie as well. Yeah, be Oh! Or was that? They could need... Oh, cut! Ran out on me! Fuck. Get that slim gym pimp. Oh, come on, there's a guy on the fucking shield. He's dead. Okay, cool. King in 64. You did it, Wings. It was now gone. No, I mean, I'm gl I'm glad Wings Double Sims not making videos on me, right? But like, I don't wish like the downfall of anybody. I just wish like all the, like the fake strikes and people striking channels would go away. Thank you for the five dollars, man. King in 64. You did it, Wings. It was now gone. No, I mean, I'm I'm glad Wings Double Sims not making videos on me, right? But like, I don't wish like the downfall of anybody. I just wish like all the, like the fake strikes and people striking channels would go away, right? Thank you for the five dollars, man. All right, boys, that's it. Uh, we had to get White Run in there because our poor Judy here was uh, just being terrible and dying in the game and not helping his teammates whatsoever. But I added that little clip twice regarding uh, the. Uh, Channels getting strike and stuff like that. So this happened yesterday, and based on the screenshots that I'm seeing, it looks like the, his channel got struck on the 15th. So that would have been uh, Friday, where he got where his channel got struck. Um, so probably what ended up happening was he got several of them, and he he knew more were coming. So he may have gotten the three and got his channel banned, or what ended up happening was he may have gotten two. Uh, gotten the threat and then privated everything 
but the problem is that even if you private it, you know, it takes several days for um, YouTube to process um, strikes and stuff like that. So even if you private something after you get struck, it, it doesn't save you really. And then also too, my understanding is that if you private your videos, but someone has the URL, um, they can still strike you um, for that content uh, because uh, YouTube doesn't care whether you private it or not. They can still see the video. So I found that very interesting that he mentioned that that, that final piece in, in, in his stream. And uh, yeah, so again, um, hope you liked the video. I will be posting some more. And then I, I have a feeling this week's going to be a lot of drama with our boy Wings here and his whole uh, channel getting uh, DMCA strikes. So hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.